evening and welcome to Greater Low Technical High School's Virtual Award and Scholarship Ceremony. My name is Jill Davis and I am the Interim Superintendent Director of this exceptional high school. Tonight, we celebrate our seniors being honored for academic and technical excellence and achievement, leadership, and service. All qualities we highly value as a school community and work to instill in all of our students. We are very fortunate to have a school committee that believes in doing what's best to ensure that our students receive a quality vocational technical education. Please join me in recognizing and thanking them for their continuous support. Chairman Mr. Paul Morin from the town of Dracut. Vice Chairman Mr. Kempton Giggy from the town of Dunstable. Mr. Matthew Sheehan from the town of Dracut. Mr. Fred Bahu from the city of Lowell. Mr. Lee Gitchia from the city of Lowell. Mr. Curtis LeMay from the city of Lowell. Mr. George O'Hare from the city of Lowell. And Mr. George Tatsios from the town of Tingsboro. Before we begin, I would ask to consider joining me in a moment of silence in memory of Laura Harrison, our school counselor who passed away last month, and for all the families impacted by the devastating effects of the COVID-19 virus. Thank you. A night like tonight is always special because it, because it is a testament to the powerful teaching and learning that occurs each day in our classrooms and shops. I would like to take a moment to thank our dedicated teaching staff for what you do each day to prepare our students with the knowledge and skills to be college and career ready when they graduate. I would also like to thank the parents and guardians for your partnership these past four years and for your ongoing support and commitment to your children and their accomplishments. I know that I speak for the entire school community when I say we are so very proud of our senior award recipients for the resilience and perseverance that they have shown during these very unprecedented times and for their outstanding achievements. Congratulations to all of our award recipients tonight and their families. Please continue to have hope, believe in yourself, and stay strong. We believe in you. Thank you. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce our Senior Assistant Principal, Mr. Jamie Costa, who will announce our award recipients. Mr. Costa. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Good evening. My name is Jamie Coster, and I am one of the assistant principals here at Greater Little Tuck. It is my honor to be presenting the Achievement Awards portion of the program to our well-deserving students this evening. Whether students are being recognized for their achievements in a shop or a class setting, or for having perfect attendance, our students represented in this presentation are role models for their peers, and we are excited to honor them this evening. Before I do that, I would like to echo Superintendent Davis's comments regarding all the important people who have played a role in the lives of our students. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the parents, guardians, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and friends of the scholarship and award recipients tonight. I often, we often, talk to our students about the importance of being reflective, and I try to practice what I preach. In doing so, I know that I would not be in the position I am today if it were not for some key individuals in my life. If you are watching this virtual ceremony to support and celebrate your son or daughter, grandson, granddaughter, niece, nephew, cousin or friend, I feel confident that you too are one of those key individuals. On behalf of the scholarship and award recipients, thank you. Most of the awards mentioned tonight are clearly defined, but I wanted to clearly more clearly to find two awards that you might hear mentioned this evening. The President's Academic Award for Excellence is given to our top 10 ranking students. The President's Academic Award for Achievement is given to those students who, who may not be in the top 10, 
but who have achieved a minimum of a 4.0 or greater grade point average. And now it is my honor to announce our award recipients. And I will begin with the construction cluster. And the first shop that will be recognized is the carpentry shop. And our first award recipient is Jonathan Butts, Carpentry Outstanding Achievement. Colin Jakes, Perfect Attendance. Joseph Joaquin, Carpentry Special Recognition and English Language Education Special Recognition. Nicholas Masiera, Ancillary Services, Outstanding Achievement. Kevin Morales, Perfect Attendance. And now moving on to the electrical shop. Our first student from the electrical shop is Isaiah Carasquillo, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Andrew Nguyen, Co-op Student of the Year, Engineering Science Special Recognition, and English Language Education Outstanding Achievement. Andrew Pittman, Electrical Special Recognition. Kyle Pru, Electrical Outstanding Achievement. Zachary Taylor, Applications of Science, Outstanding Achievement, and Perfect Attendance. Moving on to Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration. And our first award recipient from the HVAC shop is Alexander Berman, Perfect Attendance. Cody Chrisman, HVAC Outstanding Achievement. Tyler Melendez, Perfect Attendance. Connor Zawadzki, Environmental Science, Outstanding Achievement, and HVAC Related Special Recognition. Moving on to the Masonry Shop. Our first award recipient for Masonry is Eric DiMartino, Perfect Attendance. Eh Mu, Masonry, Special Recognition. Megan Thomas, Masonry, Outstanding Achievement, and Perfect Attendance. Moving on to the Painting and Design Shop. And our first award recipient is Megan Brady, Painting and Design, Outstanding Achievement, the President's Academic Award for Achievement, and Probability and Statistics, Outstanding Achievement. Emma McCarthy, Painting and Design, Special Recognition. Moving on to the Plumbing Shop. And our first award recipient is Cole Blades for Top Male Athlete. Michael Greenwood, Perfect Attendance. Patrick Logan, Perfect Attendance. David Malahan, Biotechnology Special Recognition, Perfect Attendance, and Plumbing Outstanding Achievement. Matthew Marcou, Perfect Attendance. Dominic Maraca, Physics Special Recognition, and Plumbing Special Recognition. And now moving on to the Transportation and Manufacturing Cluster. And the first shop will be Automotive Technology. And our first award recipient is Aaron Erskine, Automotive Technology Special Recognition. Eduardo Gomez Aguayo, Automotive Technology Outstanding Achievement and Perfect Attendance. John Lally, Engineering Science, Outstanding Achievement. Matthew Rubeck, Perfect Attendance. Moving on to the Computer Aided Drafting and Design Shop. And our first award recipient is Tyler Bussey, Perfect Attendance. Emma Karignan, CAD, Outstanding Achievement. Gregory Hebert, CAD, Special Recognition. Abel Jack, Perfect Attendance. Kenneth Peck, Perfect Attendance. Moving on to the Electronics Technology Shop. And our first award recipient is Kelvin Bempong, Perfect Attendance. Kayla Kuna, Advanced Placement, Environmental Science, Special Recognition. Malaysia Peng, perfect attendance. Vesna San, electronics, outstanding achievement. Nicholas Toledo, 
Honors Anatomy and Physiology, Outstanding Achievement, Electronic Special Recognition, Perfect Attendance, and the President's Academic Award for Excellence. Moving on to the Engineering Technology Shop. And our first award recipient is Brennan Gillen, Perfect Attendance. Alex Hutchinson, Perfect Attendance. Kevin Latt, Advanced Placement English Literature and Composition, Outstanding Achievement. Advanced Placement Environmental Science, Outstanding Achievement. Perfect Attendance, Honors Pre-Calculus, -pre Outstanding Achievement, and the President's Academic Award for Achievement. Kyle McLeod, Perfect Attendance. Honors Physics, Outstanding Achievement, Pre-Calculus, Special Recognition, and the President's Academic Award for Achievement. Kayla Knopp, Engineering Technology, Outstanding Achievement, and the President's Academic Award for Excellence. Kaylin Sen Chemi, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Shayla Som, Engineering Technology, Special Recognition. Moving on to the Machine Technology Shop. And our first award recipient is Nicholas Cruz, Machine Technology, Outstanding Achievement. Jose Pagan, Algebra 2, Special Recognition. True Pon Keo, Machine Technology, Special Recognition. Sopectra Sapuk, Perfect Attendance. Moving on to the Metal Fabrication and Joining Technology Shop. And our first award recipient is Damian Chan, Metal Fabrication, Outstanding Achievement. Brian Gano, Metal Fabrication, Special Recognition, and Pre-Calculus, Outstanding Achievement. Brendan Ignacio, Perfect Attendance. And now moving on to the Personal Services Cluster. Our first shop will be Cosmetology. And our first award recipient is McKaylee Batherwich. Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Lauren Blanchett, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Jocelyn Boland, Anatomy and Physiology, Outstanding Achievement, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure, and Cosmetology Special Recognition. McKaylin Butcher, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. McKinney Kamara, President's Academic Award for Achievement, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure, and Top fe Female Athlete. Jay DeRoches, Cosmetology Outstanding Achievement, the Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure, and the President's Academic Award for Achievement. Ashley Diaz, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Raquel Diaz, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Sethra Price, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Kiana Raposo, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Nysis Reyes, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Janelle Santiago, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Alicia Silva, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Serena Silva, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Vienna Lise Vera, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Debbie Vieira, Perfect Attendance. Chandra Yim, Massachusetts Cosmetology State Licensure. Moving on to the Culinary Arts Shop. And our first award recipient is Mary Blake, Perfect Attendance. Nicholas Bohr, Perfect Attendance. Jacqueline Gonzalez, Culinary Special Recognition. Ryan Horan, Transportation Occupations Program, Outstanding Achievement. Serena Kem, Culinary, Outstanding Achievement. Shauna Kinney, Perfect Attendance and Physical Education, Outstanding Achievement. Tara Long, Perfect Attendance. Vera McDermott, Advanced Placement English Language and Composition, Special Recognition. Esther Otipo, Dual Enrollment Chemistry, Outstanding Achievement. Kenneth Waganjo, Perfect Attendance. 
Moving on to the early childhood education shop. And our first award recipient is Hannah Apostolos. Biotechnology, outstanding achievement, and early childhood education, outstanding achievement. Olivia Cameron, Algebra II Probability and Statistics, special recognition. Jonathan Daly, perfect attendance. Veronica DePedra, perfect attendance. Nigeli German, Ancillary Services, special recognition, and English IV, outstanding achievement. Kiana Gold, Early Childhood Education, Special Recognition, and Perfect Attendance. Annie LaGrega, Algebra II, Outstanding Achievement. Abigail Marchionda, Perfect Attendance. Carolyn Noel, Transportation Occupations Program, Special Recognition. Tanya Wu, Co-op Student of the Year. Moving on to the Hospitality Management Shop. And our first award recipient is Grace Lamontang. Chemistry, outstanding achievement. Dual enrollment English composition, special recognition. Hospitality management, outstanding achievement. The President's Academic Award for Excellence and Honors Probability and Statistics, special recognition. Matthew Morales, hospitality management, special recognition. Moving on to the marketing education shop. And our first award recipient is Kaylee Gagney, Marketing Education, Outstanding Achievement. Justin Lake, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Jessica McFadgen, Honors Anatomy and Physiology, Special Recognition, and Perfect Attendance. Tommy Onexaving, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Scott Phillips, Honors Precalculus, Special Recognition, and the President's Academic Award for Achievement. Kiana Petrofetta, Perfect Attendance. Jahida Rivera, Marketing Education, Special Recognition. Catherine St. Pierre, Advanced Placement English Language Composition, Outstanding Achievement, Perfect Attendance, and the President's Academic Award for Achievement. Moving on to the Technology Services Cluster. Our first shop will be Design and Visual Communications. And the first award recipient is Marangeli Barrero, Design and Visual, Special Recognition. Jack Wilson, Design and Visual, Outstanding Achievement, and Environmental Science, Special Recognition. Moving on to the Graphic Communication Shop. And our first award recipient is Amelia Cartagena, Graphic Communications, Outstanding Achievement. Ramon Rodriguez, English 4, Special Recognition, and Graphic Communications, Special Recognition. Moving on to the Health Assisting Pre-Nursing Shop. Our first award recipient is Jaylene Cabrera, Health Assisting, Special Recognition. Jenny Contreras Vega, Health Assisting, Outstanding Achievement. Kayla DeChico, Application of Science, Special Recognition, and Chemistry, Special Recognition. Michelle Dion, Perfect Attendance. Emily Parent, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Ashley Sorrentino, Algebra II Probability and Statistics, Outstanding Achievement. Moving on to the Medical Laboratory and Assisting Shop. Our first award recipient is Tiba Abbas, Anatomy and Physiology, Special Recognition, and Probability and Statistics, Special Recognition. Sophia DeLuca, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Sandra Duong, Honors Chemistry, Outstanding Achievement. Logan Gilbert, Honors English for Special Recognition and Perfect Attendance. Delaney Griffin, Advanced Placement Biology, Special Recognition and the President's Academic Award for Excellence. Christina Him, Medical Assisting, Special Recognition. Taylene Hinn, Honors English for Outstanding Achievement and the President's Academic Award for Achievement. Jasmine Campana, Honors Chemistry, Special Recognition. Jessica Lawler, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Alexia Medeiros, 
President's Academic Award for Achievement. Tatiana Medina, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Rosina Ney Ray, President's Academic Award for Excellence. Emma Rossino, President's Academic Award for Excellence. Deborah Robotham, Physics Outstanding Achievement. So Contina Var, Medical Assisting Outstanding Achievement and the President's Academic Award for Excellence. Moving on to the Programming and Web Development Shop. And our first award recipient is Leonard Bacon, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Joseph Beausoleil, Perfect Attendance. Chris Orcolano Carter, Advanced Placement English Literature and Composition, Special Recognition, and Calculus, Special Recognition. Andrew Kimai, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Stephen Langone, Honors Physics, Special Recognition. Alexander Luna, Perfect Attendance. Enrico Natoli V, Calculus, Outstanding Achievement, the President's Academic Award for Excellence in Programming Web Special Recognition. Crystal Page, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Andrew Seek, President's Academic Award for Achievement in Programming and Web Outstanding Achievement. Madison Strass, President's Academic Award for Achievement. Anthony Villa, the President's Academic Award for Excellence. Courtney Wilder, Advanced Placement Biology, Outstanding Achievement, Dual Enrollment English Composition, Outstanding Achievement, Perfect Attendance, the President's Academic Award for Excellence, and Honors Probability and Statistics, Outstanding Achievement. To conclude the award portion of the ceremony, I am pleased to present our Golden Griffin Award. The Golden Griffin Scholar-Athlete Award is presented to a senior student-athlete who has best demonstrated outstanding scholastic achievement while at the same time maintaining consistent dedication and commitment to the Griffin Sports Program. And this year's award recipient is Jessica McFadgen. That concludes the award portion of our program. This time I would like to introduce our interim assistant superintendent principal, Mr. Michael Barton, to begin the scholarship and tool awards portion of the program. Mr. Barton. Thank you, Mr. Costa. I have the pleasure of introducing the scholarship and tool awards for the class of 2020, beginning with a child's light scholarship. This scholarship was set up in memory of six month old Devin Matthew Logan, who died on June 21st, 2005 as the result of abusive head trauma, shaken baby syndrome. Devin was born on Christmas Day 2004 and shaken by his biological father on Father's Day morning 2005. The recipients of this scholarship were chosen because they plan on attending and have been accepted to an accredited college or university, as well as pursuing a degree in nursing or elementary education. This year's recipients are Hannah C. Apostolos, Alicia S. Dupre, and Kiana L. Gold. The Adam Boucher Memorial Scholarship. This memorial was set up in honor of Adam G. Boucher. Adam was a 2009 graduate of Pelham High School. He went on to graduate with a degree in psychology from Plymouth State University. In 2015, Adam thought that college was a very important part of one's life, and therefore this scholarship was set up in his memory. Adam's parents are graduates of Greater Lowell class of 1986 and 1988. This year's recipients are McKaylee B. Batherwich, Isaiah J. Carasquillo, Riley M. Craven, Abel K. Jack, and Andrew E. Pittman. Bobby Cronin Memorial Scholarship. Bobby Cronin was the oldest of three Cronin brothers who graduated from Great Lowell Technical High School in the 1990s. Bobby died unexpectedly on August 27, 2000 at the age of 25 due to an aneurysm. Bobby's family and friends hold a benefit softball game each year in his memory they then donate the proceeds to fund this scholarship. This year's recipients are Hannah C. Apostolos, Ryan L. Hickey, Ryan W. Horan, and Michaela A. Nedru. Charles G. Saris Memorial Scholarship. Charlie was a 1984 graduate of the Carpentry Department, an industrious, highly motivated individual who unfortunately was taken from us accidentally in 1984. His father, Mr. Nick Saris, and his family instituted a scholarship in his memory. 
This year's recipient is Michelle L. Dion. The Cindy Manning Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established in memory of Cindy Manning, wife of Greater Lowell Technical High School Resource Officer Steve Manning. Cindy was a three-sport athlete at Tingsboro High School and had a tremendous amount of pride in her school and her community. This scholarship recognizes a female athlete at Greater Lowell Technical High School that has participated in basketball or track, maintains good grades, and shows the same pride in her community and school that Cindy possessed throughout her life. This year's recipient is Alicia S. Dupre. The Cole A. Kinney Memorial Scholarship. Many of us can live to be 100 and never truly understand why we are placed on this earth, yet others are born with this instinct, a gift really, that allowing them to live life to the absolute fullest, changing lives along the way, living a profound impact on everyone they, under, they meet. Cole was one who literally gave you the shirt off his back, stuck up for the underdog, couldn't stand to see anyone hurting, loving, giving, and compassionate. He continues to inspire each of us to do more and to be a better person each day. The scholarship recipient was chosen because of their character traits they share with Cole. And we hope that they will continue to live their dreams, knowing our angel is watching over them and guiding them. This year's recipient is Esther C. Otipo. CVS Health Scholarship. This award is presented to students who have demonstrated the values and culture of CVS Health, innovation, collaboration, caring, integrity, and accountability. This year's recipients are Kaylee A. Gagney and Michael E. Sylvester II. Deborah J. Hoare Memorial Scholarship. This memorial was set up to honor a loving daughter, sister, aunt, and friend. She was a graduate of Greater Lowell Technical School, class of 1986, and was known for her big heart and infectious smile. Throughout her short life, she always strove to succeed, believing greatly in the power of knowledge and always trying to better herself. This year's recipient is Sethra E. Price. The Digital Federal Credit Union Scholarship. Digital Federal Credit Union, better known as DCU, is a not-for-profit financial cooperative owned and operated for our members. DCU was chartered in October 1979. DCU recognizes the lifetime value of a college education. The DCU Memorial Scholarship Program was designed to assist outstanding students with the cost of their education. We want to recognize your hard work and promote your goals. This year's recipients are Jocelyn D. Boland, Tatiana M. Faria, Kiana L. Gould, Christina S. Him, Justin M. J. Lake, Jessica A. Lawler, Jessica L. McFadden, Caitlin E. McCarthy, Nikayla J. Rodriguez, Shayla S. Som, and Caitlin M. Viana. The Dracut Lioness Scholarship. This award is being presented to an outstanding, well-rounded student who intends to further their education. This year's recipient is Justin M. J. Lake. Drakeit Lions Club Richard Grace and Stephen Willett Memorial Scholarship. This award was instituted to memorialize the many contributions made by Richard Grace and Stephen Willett for Greater Lowell Technical High School students. This year's recipient is Jessica L. McFadden. The Dumont Family Memorial Scholarship. The Dumont Family Scholarship was formed to commemorate the lives of two very special young men, Michael, who graduated from the Masonry Program, and Sean Dumont a graduate of the carpentry program. Michael Dumont was also a masonry teacher here at the school, a job where he found great passion for not only teaching skills, but helping students realize their own potential. These men were known for their hardworking attitude, big hearts, and smiles that brightened everyone's lives. In their memory, their families and friends hold various fundraisers to raise money for deserving seniors of Greater Lowell Technical High School. This year's recipients are Joseph M. Basoli, Jessica A. Lawler, Cameron J. Luce, Alexa K. Medeiros, and Corey M. Siemens. The Friends of Tyler Park. This scholarship is being offered through the Friends of Tyler Park Fund and is intended for a student who has expressed an interest in higher education, in the environmental or natural sciences, or is involved in the community or other green initiatives. This year's recipients are Megan A. Brady and Gregory A. Hebert. The Jean Haas Foundation Scholarship. This scholarship is being awarded to students currently enrolled in or will be enrolling in a machining-based training or engineering program at the post-secondary level. This year's recipients are Alex J. Hutchinson, Kevin C. Lott, and Kyle 
McLeod. Gene Haas Toolkit Award. Gene Haas is America's leading building of CNC machine tools and realizes the demand for skilled machinists and recognizes the machinist program at Great Old Technical High School as one of the best in the state. Advanced manufacturing is one of the top three priority industries in the Northeast region. Gene Haas Foundation's primary goal is to build skills in the machining industry by providing scholarships for CNC machine technology students and NIMS credentials. Gene Haas also awards students who are going right to work with a toolkit. This year's recipients are Nicholas Cruz, Alan Lopez, Jose P E. Pagan, True E. Fun Kyo, Evan V. Sang, Sopiatra Sapruk, Janeda S. Teak, and Sebastian P. Yan. The George Duncan Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship has been instituted by Mr. George Duncan, President of Enterprise Bank and Trust, in memory of his father. This year's recipient is Scott A. Phillips. The Great Lowell Charitable Foundation Scholarship. This, the Great Lowell Technical High School's Charitable Foundation was established in 2005 to enhance the educational experience for the benefit of students of Great Lowell Technical High School. The corporation is organized exclusively for educational, scientific, and charitable purposes. This year's recipients are McKaylee B. Batherwich, Jacob R. Benoit, Isaiah J. Carasquillo, Delaney N. Griffin, Brian R. Guimond, Grace N. LaMontagne, Patrick A. Logan, Dominic K. Maraca, Rosina Nere, Kayla S. Knopp, Enrico N. Natoli V, Kyle S. Pr Kylie Kyle S. Pruel, Emma N. Rosino, Corey M. Siemens, Nicholas G. Toledo, Soctina S. Var, Anthony V. Villa, and Courtney M. Wilder. The Greater Lowell Parent Organization Scholarship. The Greater Lowell Parents Organization Scholarship was created by the parents of Greater Lowell as a way of honoring deserving students and financially helping them on their journey to a successful future. This year's recipients are Hannah C. Apostolos, McKaylee B. Batherwich, Isaiah J. Carasquillo, Gregory A. Hebert, Jose A. Luce, Alexa K. Medeiros, Emily N. Parent, Kyle S. Pru, Gilherme Ribeiro, and Catherine A. St. Pierre. The Greater Lowell Te Teachers Organization Scholarship. The Greater Lowell Teachers Organization started the scholarship in 2011. It is a scholarship created by teachers of Greater Lowell as a way to give back to our students on their way to continued success. This year's recipients are Adam J. Cornelia, Michelle L. Dion, and Ariana E. Jones. I would like to now introduce Mr. Ron Versalone, Dean of Students, for the second part of the Scholarship and Tool Awards. Thank you, Mr. Barton. The Greater Lowell Technical High School Adult Education Electrical Scholarship. This scholarship consists of an award to a graduating Greater Lowell Tech senior in the electrical program who will be continuing in the electrical trade. The recipient was chosen by the electrical instructors based on the student's willingness to further their education in the electrical field. This year's recipient is Corey Siemens. The Greater Lowell Technical High School Adult Education Plumbing Scholarship. This year's award goes to a student who has excelled in the plumbing shop from day one. He has been influential in promoting the plumbing shop within the school community, installing a sense of pride within the shop. This year's recipient is Dominic Moraca, the Guidance Alumni Scholarship. This scholarship is funded with fees collected from the processing of transcripts for past graduates. This award was established to honor hardworking senior students. This year's recipient is Justin Lake, the Harold O'Bell Jr. Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship has been founded in the memory of our late school committeeman, Harold O. Bell, Jr. of Tingsboro. Mr. Bell was one of the founding fathers of Greater Lowell and served on its school committee for over 34 years. This year's recipient is Alexi Medeiros. The Jordan Noble Memorial Scholarship. Jordan was a student at Greater Lowell Technical High School prior to his untimely death. Jordan's family started this scholarship in his memory. This year's recipients are Sarah DeSalt and Ryan Horan. The Joseph R. Kane Memorial Scholarship. 
This scholarship is given in honor of Joseph R. Kane, who was a teacher, coach, and administrator here at Greater Lowell Technical High School for 30 plus years. He was a firm believer in the importance of spirit, mind, and body being the foundations of a good life. This scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated those characteristics here at Greater Lowell Technical High School and hopefully will continue to live with an emphasis on those three important tenets of life. This year's recipient is Brian Bozia. The Joseph and Michael Tyne Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was instituted by Kathy Meyer Sullivan in memory of Joe and Michael Tyne, brothers of Greater Lowell Technical High School health teacher Cassie Fenlon. Joe and Mike Tyne were both loving sons, brothers, and friends to everyone that knew them. Joe was also a loving father who left behind four children. Mike and Joe battled with the disease of addiction. Through education and awareness, we hope to break free of the stigma and put an end to this deadly disease. This scholarship is awarded to two students who have been an example to their peers through healthy choices, hard work, determination, and a positive attitude. This year's recipients are Jenny Contreras Vega and Emma Racino. The Karen Kiernan Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was instituted in memory of an outstanding English teacher, a true professional who lost a courageous battle against a failing heart in 1988. Thanks to her family and many friends, this scholarship is presented annually. This year's recipient is Miranda Shatniff. The Kenneth Foley Memorial Scholarship was instituted in memory of a dedicated educator who was an advocate of students in our special education department. Ken lost the fight against cancer in 1987, but his memory lives on in this scholarship. This year's recipient is Lily Dumont. The Lindsay Don Bastian Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship has been formed in memory of Lindsay Don Bastian, who passed away as a result of an automobile accident in 1997. Lindsay was a student in the marketing education department and was an energetic young lady who loved life and had many friends. In tribute to her memory, her family and friends initiated this scholarship. This year's recipient is Catherine St. Pierre. The Marge Tanner Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was instituted in memory of an outstanding marketing teacher, a true professional who was dedicated to the marketing students at Greater Lowell. This year's recipient is Scott Phillips. The Massachusetts Trowel Trades Association Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is in memory of former outstanding masonry instructors, Donald Ducharme from Greater Lawrence Folk Tech, Dave McMasters from Shasheen Valley Folk Tech, Michael Indrasano from Whittier Regional Folk Tech, Michael Rohr from Whittier Tech, Ralph Carroza from Shasheen Valley, and Michael Dumont from Greater Lowell Tech. Students received this scholarship based on their work ethic. This year's recipient is Megan Thomas. The Norman Reynolds Memorial Scholarship has been established in memory of a loving husband, father, grandfather, brother, and friend who lost his longtime battle with diabetes in February 2004. In his honor, his family has established a scholarship to keep his memory alive. This year's recipient is McKaylee Batherwich. The Patrick F. Bowe Senior Memorial Scholarship. Patrick Bowe's second career as a teacher in Lowell Tech's Title I math program brought him much joy in his later years. He took great pride in his work and in the efforts and achievements of his students, but he often spoke of the challenges his students faced. His family established a scholarship in his name to be given to a graduating student who was enrolled in the Title I program and has shown a commitment to giving back to the community. This year's recipient is Makani Kamara, the Richard Bommel Jr. Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship has been instituted by his family to honor his memory. Rick was employed at Greater Lowell as a computer technician. He passed away in July 2001. This year's recipients are Adam Cornelia and Adriana Jones. The Richard Holt Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship has been set up in the memory of Richard Holt of Dunstable. Richard was a mechanic in the Army and also attended technical college. He was a firm believer in being able to fix things yourself, especially cars, trucks, and tractors. He also knew in order to work on these, you needed to have the right training and the right tools. The recipient of the award is someone who will be pursuing a career in automotive technology or collision and repair and will need those new tools. 
This year's recipient is Josue Rivera Augusto. The CETO Legacy Fund LLC. The CETO Le Legacy Fund was founded in honor of Luis Samuel Espinoza Jr., AKA CETO, a former student of Greater Lowell who studied HVAC. Lewis excelled in sports, academics, and went above and beyond with family and friends. The CETO Legacy Fund is a nonprofit organization that raises funds in order to provide scholarships to young adults seeking to further their education. This year's recipient is Ariana Jones. The Superintendent Scholarship. This scholarship was instituted to recognize an outstanding senior student who exemplifies academic achievement and hard work. This year's recipient is Courtney Wilder. The William Burns Memorial Scholarship. Mr. Williams Burn Burns was a loving husband, father, friend, educator, and mentor to many. Mr. Burns was the assistant superintendent here at Greater Lowell before he sadly lost his battle with cancer. He was a dedicated educator and a strong believer in vocational education. He gave endlessly to the students and staff at Greater Lowell. This scholarship was established by his loving family in his memory. This year's recipient is Felipe Rios. The William Trail Memorial Scholarship. William Trail taught at Shawshine Valley Technical High School in Bill Ricca, Whittier Regional Vocational High School in Haverhill, and most recently Greater Lowell Technical High School where he was a teacher and clust a construction cluster chairman before retiring in 2013. The Trail Scholarship is given in memory of Bill Trail by his family and awarded to a plumbing student who tries their hardest. This year's recipient is Nathaniel Gath. That concludes the scholarship portion of tonight's program. I'd like to congratulate all of the scholarship winners tonight. And at this time, I'd ask Assistant Principal Linda Zambino to announce the Perfect Attendance Awards. Ms. Zambino. Thank you, Mr. Versalone. It is my pleasure to be presenting the awards for four years for perfect attendance. We celebrate this achievement because perfect attendance demonstrates the motivation of a student to be at school every day and overcome obstacles that get in the way of achieving his or her goals. So whether it was the luck of having good health or a good immune system so as not to have been absent due to illness or a personal goal, these students have hit the alarm and gotten up and come to school a total of 720 days these last four years. And for that, we commend you. And now to announce our recipients. Riley M. Craven, Christina S. Him, Jared C. Marchand, Christopher P. Overby, Scott A. Phillips. Congratulations to all our seniors. And now I would like to introduce Mr. Michael Barton, who will present the top 10 ranking students. Mr. Barton. Thank you, Assistant Principal Zambino. I would now like to introduce the top 10 ranking senior students. Grace Lamontine is the daughter of Bridget Edward Lamontine of Lowell. Grace is ranked 10th in the class of 2020. Grace's technical program of study is hospitality management. She has maintained a rigorous course of studies, which includes honors, dual enrollment, and advanced placement courses. Grace, is, Grace participates in our cooperative education program and was employed by Cracker Barrel. Grace's school and volunteer activities include National Technical Honor Society and volunteering with the St. Francis Life Teen Catholic Group. Grace is the recipient of the following scholarships and awards. The John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, High Honor Roll Certificates, Honor Roll Certificate, Science Fair, third place in physics, outstanding achievement award in hospitality, special recognition in physics CP, special recognition in geometry CP, science fair award, first place in environmental science, and the outstanding achievement dual enrollment in literature award. Grace plans to attend Framingham State University to pursue a degree in hospitality and tourism management. Of her future plans, Grace states, my plans for the future are a bit fuzzy, but I know I want to do something great. I know I want to make people smile. I plan on attending and graduating from college within four years. During this time, I want to explore the hospitality industry and really decide what direction I want to take my life in. Whether this may be opening my own business, enjoying the tourism industry, or something completely different. 
I do have a passion for writing and plan on possibly publishing some of my work during my years in and after college. The hospitality program at the school has taught me so much, not just about the industry, but about myself and my passions. I will take what I have learned and do something of recognition that I can take humble pride in. The 10th ranked student in the class of 2020, Grace LaMontagne. Anthony Villa. Anthony Villa is the son of Sokum Chun of Lowell. Anthony is ranked ninth in the class of 2020. Anthony's technical programming is programming and web development. Anthony has maintained a rigorous course of studies which includes honors, dual enrollment, and advanced placement classes. Anthony currently participates in our cooperative education program and is employed by IBM. Anthony's school and community activities include varsity volleyball, Skills USA, and he is a volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club. Anthony is the recipient of the following scholarships and awards. The John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Lowell Youth of the Year Award, Volleyball M MVP, Student of the Month, and Skills USA Web Design Bronze Medal at the state level. Anthony plans to attend the University of Massachusetts Lowell majoring in computer science. His future plans include becoming a programmer and working as a freelance web designer. Anthony states, I want to work in the community and give back in whatever way I can. If you want to help those around you grow, you must first learn to grow yourself so you may teach others to do the same. The ninth ranked student in the class of 2020, Anthony Villa. Kayla Knopp. Kayla Knopp is the daughter of Sokheen Prak of Lowell. Kayla is ranked eighth in the class of 2020. Kayla's technical program is engineering technology. She has maintained a rigorous course of study which has included honors, dual enrollment, and advanced placement courses. Kayla participates in our cooperative education program and is employed by Omni, where she works with engineers and machinists to create dental, medical, and aerospace components that meet AQL standards. Kayla's school and community activities include National Technical Honor Society, National Honor Society, Cancer Walk, Bay State Marathon, the Hallows Eve 5K Run, College and Career Night Volunteer, and a, GL and a volunteerism at the GL Tech Craft Fair. Kayla is the recipient of the following scholarships and awards. The John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Outstanding Achievement in Engineering Award, Special Recognition in Biology, high honor roll, honor roll, and perfect attendance. Kayla plans to attend Middlesex Community College before transferring to the University of Massachusetts at Lowell. She hopes to pursue a degree in biomedical engineering. The eighth ranked student in the class of 2020, Kayla Knopp. Nicholas Toledo is the son of Josani and Sandra Toledo of Lowell. He is ranked seventh in the class of 2020. Nicholas's technical program of study is electronics technology. He has maintained a rigorous course of study which has included honors and advanced placement courses. Nicholas participates in our cooperative education program. He is currently employed by BAE Systems where he works on partial manual assembly of modules that would be installed in United States Air Force jets. Nicholas's school and volunteer activities include National Honor Society, National Technical Honor Society, Skills USA, GLTHS Indoor Track, GLTHS track and field, and, and he's a volunteer member of the Christian Fellowship of Bo Boston's Church's media team. Nicholas is the recipient of the following scholarships and awards, of the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, Skills USA Bronze Medal, and GLTHS High Honor Roll. Nicholas plans to attend Wentworth Institute of Technology, where he has been awarded the Merit Scholarship and Early Action Scholarship. Nicholas plans to pursue a degree in electrical engineering, and his future plans include becoming a successful engineer, hopefully working at big companies like Tesla or Microsoft. I also plan to have a family where, with my job, I'll be able to support them and their every need. The seventh ranked student in the class of 2020, Nicholas Toledo. Delaney Griffin. Delaney Griffin is the daughter of Judith and Tim Griffin of Tingsboro. Delaney is ranked sixth in the class of 2020. Delaney's technical program is medical laboratory and assisting. She has maintained a rigorous course of study which includes honors, dual enrollment, and advanced placement classes. Delaney has participated as a volunteer in Go Red for a Woman campaign and has received the following scholarships and awards. The John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, 
the Outstanding Achievement in Medical Assisting, Outstanding Achievement in Anatomy and Physiology, and the Governor's Citation. Delaney plans to attend the University of Massachusetts Lowell where she'll, she will pursue a degree in nursing. Delaney states that her future plans include using my passion and dedication for education to make positive changes I want to see in the world by prioritizing empathy, compassion, and acceptance as a nurse. The sixth ranked student in the class of 2020, Delaney Griffin. Emma Rossino. Emma Rossino is the daughter of Lucille and Joseph Rossino of Dracut. Emma is ranked fifth in the class of 2020. Emma's technical program is medical laboratory and assisting. She has maintained a rigorous course of study, which includes honors, dual enrollment, and advanced placement classes. Emma's school and community activities include National Technical Honor Society, National Honor Society, GLTHS basketball, GLTH softball, and varsity volleyball. Emma's community and volunteer activities include volunteering at the Drake Food Pantry, Drake It's Old Home Day, and assisting with the Red Cross Blood Drive. Emma is the recipient of the following scholarships and awards. John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Massachusetts Women in Athletics Distinguished Service Award, High Honors, Honors Achievements, Perfect Attendance, Algebra One Honors Achievement Award, Scholar Athlete Award, Basketball JV Coaches Award, the Teen Health Award, Varsity Basketball Coaches Award, Founders Merit Scholarship from Riviera, the Regional Academic Achievement Award from Mass Lowell, the Presidential Scholarship from Plymouth State University, and the Director Scholarship from University of New Hampshire. Emma plans on attending the University of New Hampshire to pursue a degree in nursing. Her future plans involve pursuing an advanced degree in medical school. The fifth ranked student in the class of 2020, Emma Rosino. Rosina Nere. Rosina Nere is the daughter of Nere and Tomo of Lowell. Rosina Nere is ranked fourth in the class of 2020. Rosina's education program is medical laboratory and assisting. She has maintained a rigorous course of studies which includes honors, dual enrollment, and advanced placement classes. Rosina participates in our cooperative education program and is currently employed as a pharmacy technician trainee at Long-Term Pharmacy Solutions. Rosina's school and community activities include the National Technical Honor Society, Skills USA, GLTHS Peer Tutoring, GLTH Peer Mentoring, Member and Volunteer at the Say Dinar Community, Lowell Folk Festival Volunteer, Duville Senior Care Center Walkathon, and Hallow's Eve Fun 5K Fun Run. Rosina is the recipient of the following awards and scholarships. John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Grade 9 MVP GL GLTHS Tennis Team, Skills USA Second Place GLTHS Competition, and Skills USA Bronze Medalist at the District Competition. Rosina plans to attend Middlesex Community College. The fourth ranked student in the class of 2020, Rosina Nere. Soktina Var. Soktina Var is the daughter of Sofali Sangvar and Nim Sim of Lowell. Soktina is ranked number three in the class of 2020. Soktina's technical program is medical laboratory and assisting. She has maintained a rigorous course of study which includes honors, dual enrollment, and advanced placement courses. Soktina is a member of the GLTHS peer tutoring team, National Technical Honor Society, and Skills USA. So Tina's community and volunteer activities include Dilvu, Duvel Senior Care Center Walkathon, Hallow's Eve Fun Run 5K, and the Lowell City of Lights Parade. So Tina is the recipient of the following scholarships and awards. The John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, Skills USA First Place Medical Math In-House Competition, Skills USA Second Place Medical Math District Competition, and the 2019 Mass Award for Academic Excellence. So Tina plans to attend the University of Massachusetts Lowell majoring in applied biomedical science. She hopes to someday pursue a career in clinical research lab. The third ranked student in the class of 2020, So Tina Var. Enrico Natoli V. Enrico Natoli V is the son of Sherry and Enrico Natoli IV of Dracut. Enrico is ranked number two and is salutatorian of the class of 2020. Enrico's technical program is programming and web development where he has earned multiple certifications. He has maintained a rigorous course of study which includes honors, advanced placement, and dual enrollment courses. Enrico maintains a cooperative education position as a data and analytics tester at IBM. Enrico is the member 
of National Technical Honor Society, of which he is president, the GLTHS soccer team, swim and dive team, track team, and the GLTHS student representative to the GLTHS school committee. Enrico's community and volunteer activities include volunteering at the DAV Chapter 47 events and developing, organizing, and volunteering GLTHS's Smash Brother Tournament. Enrico is the recipient of the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Massachusetts Outstanding Vocational Student 2020, Dual Enrollment Chemistry Outstanding Achievement, Honors Pre-Calculus and Outstanding Achievement, Massachusetts Superintendent Association Academic Excellence Award, and Varsity Soccer Offensive MVP, Varsity Soccer Homecoming Offensive MVP, and the Varsity Soccer MVP of 2019. Enrico plans to pursue an undergraduate degree in computer science at University of Massachusetts Lowell. His future plans is to pursue a career as a software engineer. The number two ranked student and salutatorian of the class of 2020, Enrico Natoli V. Courtney Wilder is the daughter of Kim and Scott Wilder of Dracut. Courtney is ranked number one and is the valedictorian of the class of 2020. Courtney's technical program is programming and web development, where she has earned multiple certifications. She has maintained a rigorous course of study, which has included honors, dual enrollment, and advanced placement courses. Courtney maintains a cooperative education position at IBM, where she will be continuing in the fall as a college intern. Courtney is a member of the National Technical Honor Society, the National Honor Society, and Skills USA, and the Great Old Technical High School tennis team. Courtney's community and volunteering activities include GLTH's Summer School Service Learning Program, MSPCA Nevins Farm in Methuen, Merrimack Valley Food Bank, Katie's Closet, the Bay State Marathon, and End 68 Hours of Hunger. Courtney is the recipient of the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Massachusetts Superintendent's Academic Excellence Award, Special Recognition in World History, Outstanding Achievement Award in English 2, Outstanding Achievement Award in Programming and Web Shop 3, Student of the Month May 2017, Student of the Month February 2020, and the MIAA Academic Excellence Team Award for Tennis. Courtney plans to pursue an undergraduate degree at the University of Massachusetts in Lowell in Computer Science. Her future plan is to be a software engineer. The number one ranked student and the Val Victorian of the Class of 2020, Courtney Wilder. Congratulations to the Class of 2020. I would now like to reintroduce Mr. Jamie Costa for the closing remarks. Thank you, Mr. Barton. I would like to thank all the scholarship and tool award donors for their continued generosity to our school and our students. I would also like to thank a few people for helping to ensure this virtual ceremony was a success. Chris Fody, Director of Media Services and Professional Development, and Juan Coca, Media Technician, handled all of the technical intricacies to this evening, and they deserve to be recognized. Additionally, Denise DuPont, who works in the Guidance Department, and Annie Sloan, who works in the main office, took care of the many fine details to ensuring a successful ceremony, and we appreciate their continued dedication to our school, and especially this ceremony. Finally, I would like to both congratulate and thank Assistant Principal Linda Zambino for on her upcoming retirement. Linda has dedicated the last 25 years to ensuring that she has made a positive influence on our school and our students. I have been lucky to have worked closely with Linda in the main office for the past eight years. The relationship that Linda formed with her students both in the classroom and as a dean in the main office made it obvious to anyone who worked with her that she had a tremendous impact on our student success. Linda, thank you for your years of service and your dedication to, you, to our school. You will be missed. In closing, I would like to congratulate all of our seniors. Please do not let our current pandemic prevent you from reaching your goals. You have worked too hard for too long. I know, we know, you will persevere. Thank you. <laughs>